All right, FD here, 492, doing a quick review uh, and pointers for project three, your first written uh, assignment um, that needs to be, again, uploaded to Canvas, um, due by ADM. This one, if you, uh, you can have a late submission on these written projects, but then again, it's a minus 10% each day, it is late. Key point here. If you feel like you don't have a quality product by the, the due date and time, you're better off to go ahead and take the extra day, take the minus 10% and have a quality project. Because again, every project you're doing is a component of the final project. So you'll eventually have to redo it anyway. Um, project over here, real overview here. This is where you're gonna start to talk about and describe what type of business you wanna design for the course. It can be anything in the health industry. Hopefully we've had some discussion on that if you're not sure, but should be pretty straightforward. Again, you want to use when describing the business style, use some of the information from uh, the CPDs we've been using. Use the terminology from the four different types that we had right away in the first two chapters of the textbook and the first CPD. Again, it can be a combination of those um, right there. Again, we also want to use the research now that we've been getting from the discussion share shares then also. You must then uh, use TRI writing methods. So when you first describe it, that's your you want to describe that business type in detail using some of the terminology, common language that we've all started to learn here in the business industry. Then after that, you've got to do the R, which is you need to reinforce and you have to cite a reference to support that to give it credibility. If you don't cite the reference, but you just talk about it, you won't get the points. Uh, make sure here also you include quality controls. Those are great uh, ways to measure and see if your vision and your goals are being met. So you need those concrete evaluation tools. That's where then in the I, after the R, you need to talk about using I statements how you will concretely get accomplished what you want to accomplish. So again, T, give me your position in detail using some of the terminology. R, you've got to support that by citing a reference. Again, hopefully the research from the discussion boards was helpful along with the textbook and then your own research. And then lastly, don't give me another example of how somebody's done that. Give me an example of how you are concrete using I and we statements. Again, there's writing mechanics with all of this. So make sure you go through that. You see there's going to be minimum, a minimum number of reference you need to list. And then there needs to be proper formatting with subheadings and headers and so forth. All right, here is the actual rubric. I'll go through it in detail so you make sure you can answer it correctly. Each section in the, in the yellow, A, B, and C, those need to be headers. Um, so again, the first one, A, is your business organizational design. This is the type of business you are going to design for the class. So when we say organization, it's the same as saying your small business. Then point one, two, and three, these numbers, you need to have subheadings for each of them. And you can make those titles, uh, whatever you want for those. For example, number one, you can just label uh, subheading as business type. Um, here I'm giving you direct information of where to find the, the terminology used, and we want to use chapter two from the textbook. There's four types there you want to start to describe and cite then as a reference from the textbook, the type of business you are going to build. Uh, number two then, uh, chapter one talks about business situational leadership theory. Pick which one you want to use from that and again cite that um, for how you're going to incorporate leading your business and your staff. Number three then is a lecture we talked about in weeks two and through four is your preferred learning style. We want to talk about what yours is and then talk about how you can apply that to your staff training. Again, this would be a personal communication uh, citation, in-text citation from lecture. 
Section B then, this is a header again. We're gonna talk about professional leadership and management. You can see we've got five different subheadings then. You wanna do TRI for your leadership definition, then for management definition, then you wanna talk about your leadership goals, things you value, again, TRI, and then four would be leadership objectives. These are not the same as goals. These are specific strategies of how you're gonna achieve the goals you just listed above. Again, chapter three talks about specifically for recruiting best staff. That's one area you could talk about with objectives. Number five then is evaluation methods, TRI for that. And again, this is chapter four from the textbook. Last then section C, and this will be for every project. You need to list all of your references. The header is list of references. Um, again, make sure you do that correctly APA style. Even if you do not cite uh, a textbook, but you've read some of it or something from the discussion research that was listed from your peers, still cite that or list that as a reference. We also need to, you have points for mechanics that again is headers and subheadings done correctly. And then you can see here with the, this project, you need a minimum of five references. So there's not bias. Again, you must always list the textbook, even if you don't cite it because you're using it. And then last, you're turning in references from your sources. Turn it in actually shows me the percentage of uh, information or on your document that is from other sources, directly from other sources. You need to have some original material on your own so it can't be more than 25% or I start to take points off. All right, total points, 54. Hopefully this gives you a great start because again, everything you do for each of the projects ends up being uh, components you will use for the final project. So the more work you put in for uh, three, four, and five, the less you have to do uh, with project six, that final project. Thanks.